It's filled out to the best of my abilities. What is it? Folks, we're going on grid. So what, you want a power bill now? You think the solar's not good enough for you? You want to be able to bake bread? You want to have toast in the morning? You want to run a fan on our wood stove all night? What's wrong with you? You know what you're really gonna miss? The middle of the night when the under voltage protection warning starts going off. Is the internet on? No. Sounds like the battery's turned off. Yep. Didn't you run the generator last night? Oh yeah. I think generator filled it up and it stopped about two in the morning, three in the morning. Are you serious? Yeah. So what do we do now? Pay them money, give them our firstborn, and they give us electricity? We have to submit an application and that's just to get someone out to our property to do engineering and to like look at the reality of bringing power to our property, which we went as far as we could with this process before we even bought this property. We know we can get power. We don't know exactly where it's gonna come from the property or how much it's gonna cost. I think we should rip the band-aid off quick, get this submitted, and then we wait for the snow to melt until spring. Oh yeah, they can't even bring power to us because it's all covered in snow. But we wanna be first in line. Yeah. Right. Hey dear, we're getting power. What are we getting? Dirty chai. Really? I'm going dirty chai. Okay. Do you know what I just realized? We have in storage that we have not used in two years. What? Our espresso maker. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. Mm. You can have my bean. Doesn't sound appetizing. Jason, yes. guess yes. what? what? We're going on grid. Oh, really? What yeah. What's that mean? Sleepy nuts. Oh, you look so sleepy. Hey, <laughs> fish. Done shearing the sheep? Nope. Not yet? Nope. Now are you done shearing the sheep? Um, yeah. Gosh, are you ready yet? For what? To talk about solar. Oh. And power. We have to talk about it? The last few days, Jesse and I have spent countless hours driving around this beautiful area that we moved to and we've been taking a really good hard look at our life 
Needless to say, 2017 was a very stressful year to us with the house build, and although we have our frame up, we have a lot of work to do. In fact, we've barely begun. We're trying to think, how do we continue this project in a way that's just a little bit more enjoyable? So we started making a list of all of the stressors in our life. We're trying to think what is in our control to change. We're still building this house, so unless we like scrap the home build, that's not changing. One of our really big stressors right now is our power. I want to say out of the gate that we are not saying that solar is not a viable power source. We have lived with this alternative energy for two years and it is very viable. We're not saying that solar is bad. What we've done is an analysis of our life for the next 35 years, 40 years, our productive years, our, our prime years, our family years, and we looked at it and said, this is not why we came on this journey. We didn't come out here to be in prison. We already did a video about are you building a prison or a homestead. We have a lot of dreams and a lot of aspirations and things we want to do, and right now power is keeping us from doing a lot of those things. Now, we did some hard number crunching, some analysis, and this is not hypothetical stuff. This is based on our real world living with it every single day, and it doesn't make sense for our family. It doesn't mean that we're saying no, never. We're never gonna have solar again. We may do something solar related down the road. We may use it for a project. It might be more fun that way, but there's a lot of things that are, are being restricted in our life, and we're talking not two years or five years here, we're talking long-term. We're building a home, a home that we didn't even think that we would be building yet, and we want to enjoy that home. So we're not uh, criticizing solar. We do wanna say that we feel like there's not a lot of openness among people who live with solar. We feel like people want it to work, they really have this burning desire to have energy independence, which we understand. We want the same thing. We want to feel like we're in control of our life. But the reality of it is, the technology is just not there to do what grid power can do easily. Now, we're not preaching the grid power is like the best thing ever, but it's you have to make those decisions for yourself. This is what makes sense for us. We're okay with having a power bill. And maybe going back on the grid, we'll kind of swing back to the other side and we'll find somewhere in the middle where it fits our family and it makes a ton of sense. I think we do have this dream of the simple life. In the end, that is our goal. But today, our life is not very simple. We can't just work around the sun and do things when we have power. I think that for a lot of, a lot of us, I'll just, I'll just lump us all together, that a lot of this talk is theoretical. It is all in theory. And we decided to take our entire life and literally turn everything upside down. We have challenged pretty much everything we believed and thought about the world as we came on this journey. And we have come out of that with an appreciation for things and understanding of the value of certain things. And We've, we said early on, is this keeping us from getting our dreams? Maybe, I don't know. Let's go this way, and mm -hmm. if, if it is, we'll keep going, and if it's not, we'll go this direction. We wanna do what's right for our family, and part of the reason we're sharing this video at all is because there are some people in this world who actually are following our journey to see how it works out for us, because we did something a lot of people are not willing to do, and we just, threw it all in. We just said, mm -hmm. we're all in. This is going to be a little harsh and I feel like it needs to be said. And I want to kind of shame a little bit the people who talk about solar. We have tried to be very honest, honest that we are new, that we have a lot of learning to do. We're, we're, we're you know, our experiences, things we've learned, etc. And And people can point their finger and do all this stuff, but we have tried to tell the whole truth. For example, we don't shower elsewhere. We don't, uh, we don't go to work and use the power. We don't use our neighbor's refrigerator. Yep. We don't do these things. We're physically living with these um, utilities I, I every wanna single say, day. I wanna there's, say, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you label yourself, but we acknowledge like we are running to town for every waking yes. need. And a lot of you have picked up on that. And yes. truth of the matter is we need fuel to run our generator. We need to do laundry in town. Yes. In the future, if we don't have grid power, with the amount of clothes we go through and not having a lot of water, having to carry that too, like we're spending hours a month in town. 
when we yeah. could, for the cost of a power bill, do all this at home. We, we came out here to have a simpler life and we've ironically not achieved that. Our life right now, while it is more simple, it is actually much more complicated. And it's okay, but our life has become somewhat centrical, centrical, whatever the word is. It revolves around these basic needs, which is a huge waste of time. This is time we could be spending doing other things, building our home, learning new skills, hunting, creating food, Giving back whatever. to the community. And a lot of these people that, that preach the gospel of solar, ask them for the entire story. Our experience is they're using other energy sources. They're using a generator, which we use. We've never de deceived anybody. The fact of the matter is we have run our gener generator nearly constantly each day for the last two months because there has been not measurable sun. I think if you're interested in going off grid, everyone, like you have to have a reason to do this. And I feel that everyone's reasons are a little bit different. I think what's hard for a lot of us is looking to somebody that we can trust for good advice. And we've never really tried to be advisors on our channel. We're never trying to give people advice because everyone's circumstances are so different. But we're trying to share the whole story. And what's hard is you're watching this video probably on YouTube. And YouTube is a place where a lot of people who actually don't live with solar have a lot of advice to give on how to live with solar. In fact, the majority of the conversations that we had before we came on this journey with people about alternative energy were with people who don't live with alternative energy. So they all have this very fanciful idea about how it all works. And it can work. So we, we're looking to the future. We're not, we're not regretting it. In fact, I think if anything, we appreciate the power that we have more than ever. So it's time for us to make change. It's time for us to try to progress if we can and see how that works out for us. We have a lot of things that we really, really are passionate about doing. And there's just unfortunately no way affordably without huge time consumption, huge stress, huge problems for us to keep going down the path that we're going down. I think it's extremely important to just make one caveat here. People can judge us based on the solar system that we have, the batter bank that we have, the inverter that we have. This has nothing to do with the components of our system. You do not need to have $50,000 in solar to make a judgment call for your family based on solar. I see people all the time posting on Instagram, YouTube, etc., about the power that they're getting. And if you just are good with a calculator and you can understand your family's power needs, it does not take a rocket scientist to figure out that solar just isn't there. If there's clouds, smoke, rain, overcast, snow, there's no power. And I want to say that because a lot of people are going to make the excuse that we just don't have a system that's adequate. And I feel like these are the people that are not being fair. They're not being honest. And I think it's a, it's a disservice to people out there because a lot of people are investing. They're making life changes. They're taking their family, they're changing their life, and they're doing these things based on these people's advice. Of course, we encourage everybody to make your own decision. We did. We're not blaming anyone. We're simply stating that you don't need to spend all this money and spend two years fumble farting with batteries and generators and cold weather and, and overcast days to make a judgment call. If you're not sure, go live off grid for a month and do the thing and then make a decision about whether it's right for your family. So unfortunately, it's not as simple as paying a bill and people come out and flip your power on. Um, we made the choice when we bought this property to never say never, and so power is within reach, but it's gonna take some time, some money, some engineering, and things. So this will be quite a journey. Hopefully, like our septic and like our water system, we'll learn a lot about how utilities work and how they get connected. No doubt that's gonna involve probably some permits and things for us as we mm -hmm. move forward with the house, but we're very welcoming to this process. We're, we're very much learning. So we're gonna make a lot of mistakes, we're gonna to try to document most of those. Some of them we're gonna cry about, some are gonna make our blood boil, and some we're gonna laugh our butts off. It's anybody's guess what 2018 is gonna look like for us. If you wanna find out, you gotta stick around. Now how about some dinner? Are you thinking leftovers? I don't know if we need to go fill up the generator. Do we? We filled it up when we left. It's been running all day. It's been running for a while. Let me get my generator calculation estimation worksheet out and determine the kilowatt hours times hours. The batteries running. are in float, so it says, but I mean, fat chance. Well, you're not the one who got up at four o'clock in the morning the other day to start the generator. I'm just kidding. Let's have dinner. Come on.